Hunt or Die is being brought to you by Matthews, Lost Camo, New Archery Products, Tinks, Lone Wolf Portable Tree Stands, Scent Blocker, Campbell Cameras, and Stealth Cam. Next up, we're going to join uh, Clinton Fawcett along with Tyler Rector and his brother Layton down in Central Illinois. They got a couple of really nice bucks that they're after. One is called Strict Nine, and another one's called Cactus Jack. Beautiful, huge whitetails that these guys are chasing down there. So let's check it out and see how they're doing. All right, well, tonight's December 6th. Uh, last time I was in a tree, I was in Iowa. That was a pretty exciting uh, hunt, so tonight's got a... Uh, a lot to live up to if it's going to make it to that hunt, so... Anyway, I hunt a deer called Strict Nine. This is uh, the deer I'm going to hunt the rest of the year. It's going to take something pretty special for me to shoot besides him, so... Over here at my house, I've got uh, about a half acre of beans and a half acre of clover back here. He has been hitting it, and we have not hunted this deer yet this year, so... He's pretty much always nocturnal until it gets cold and needs to eat. So we're on the back side of the rut. These deer are starting to try to get fed back up. So hopefully he made it through gun season. Hopefully I can get a crack at him tonight. I've been sitting here night going through quite a bit of our footage and uh, trying to get some stuff put together for the web show this week. We realized we've been pretty lucky this year. You know, we've had some pretty cool encounters in the last couple weeks. They've been no exception, you know. We, uh, I guess it all started last year in the summer. I got pictures of deer at my mother and father-in-law's and he was a giant, man. Huge brow tines. Looked just like a cactus. I mean, they just come up and they split. And so we called him Cactus Jack and Frank, it was like Frank's obsession to kill this deer. Well, when you know September rolls around, he loses velvet and he's gone. Never seen him, have no idea where he's at, no more pictures, no late season pictures, no shed antlers, nothing. So anyway, this year, you know, like I said, we've been pretty lucky. We got permission to hunt another farm up there to the north of this one and put out the trail cameras and the very first picture I get on my stealth cams, Cactus Jack. I mean, number one, not the first buck, the first picture. So now we know where he's at. Well, we hunt him and hunt him. Me and Frank never do see him. You know, we probably hunted him two months. We spent a lot of time up there on that farm and never run into him. So a couple weeks ago, the other neighbor up there, uh, Tyler takes care of his farm. He had some guys trespass and he calls Tyler and says, you know what, you guys go there bow hunt and make sure nobody's there. So that night, uh, I go back here behind the house and hunt, had a nice encounter with a four-year-old eight-pointer. To get a text. Well, Tyler had taken Leighton up there, his little brother. They'd hung a couple lone wolves and climbed up the tree, and he texted me and goes, you're not going to believe it. We just about killed Cactus Jack. So now we've got some footage of him, man. He is a giant. He's, I don't know, in the 180s, I would say. I mean, he's he's really blown up into something cool. So we're really going to concentrate on hunting him this late season. Uh, Tyler actually saw the deer tonight. Uh, he's in the neighbor's alfalfa field. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll let us go. He let us go goose hunting over there this year. We had some pretty cool goose hunts there early season in September. So now the deer are in there because it's just not quite cold enough to push them to the beans and the corn food plots. They're in a big alfalfa field. And uh, so tomorrow night, I'm going to go talk to the farmer. Hopefully, we can gain permission to get in there. And uh, I know the next night we can hunt Christmas Eve. I hope me and Tyler get him killed that night. So uh, I guess I hope next week that's what you're seeing. Maybe we're just lucky enough to make it happen. <laughs>